Hey guys, it's Gia and welcome back to my channel. For today, I will be showing you how I recreate this look. This is actually what I'm doing for Valentine's Day since I want it to be special. I want to do something different. This is my first video where I show you some body painting and yeah, I hope you like it. So if you want to see how I do this, please keep on watching. So first, I'm gluing down my eyebrows with some Elmer's glue stick. Once they are fully dry, we can now conceal them. So what I do is I put on concealer, blend it out with a sponge, and then layer on powder. And when I'm not happy with the concealer, I just repeat the process. Now we are putting on foundation. I'm just using my regular foundation and that is the L'Oreal True Match in Gold Ivory. Blend that out with a beauty blender. Moving on to the eyes, I'm just using a brown and a black eyeshadow just to define my eyes and smoke them out. Then we are putting on pink eyeshadow under the eyes and I mean lots of it. Basically just think of this as a reverse smoky eye blend that out next we are just defining the eyes with some liquid eyeliner and then I'm gonna tight line it with a pencil eyeliner Then I'm just drawing on my eyebrows with the same liquid eyeliner that I use for my eyes. Please do know that I am not an expert at brows, so if they look ugly, yeah, please forgive me. I tried my best to make this as symmetrical as possible. Oh boy, was I struggling. Yep. That was hard. Then I am drawing on some extra uh, exaggerated eyelashes and then I'm putting on mascara on my real eyelashes, both upper and bottom lashes. I am doing some light contouring just because I need my cheeks snatched. Blending that up because I think it was too harsh. And then we are contouring my nose. And I am using a dark red lipstick just because I think it fits the look. Now I'm using a black eyeshadow just to outline the hair. You can also do this with a pencil eyeliner if you want. We're just gonna map out the fake hair. 
Then I'm using gel eyeliner for the black parts. Also drawing a fake sideburn, filling in black parts alternately because we are going to put white on the black parts. I'm using the Graftobin white paint for this. If you do not have it, you can just use a different cream paint or maybe the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, you can also use that. I'm just setting it with eyeshadow because the grease paint is very, very sticky and it's quite hard to work with if you do not set it. Then I'm blending it with some gray eyeshadow. That is me having second thoughts. So I thought I had too much white part, so I'm erasing that and um, just putting on more black just because I don't think hair doesn't have that much shine naturally. Yeah, more blending with a gray eyeshadow. I kind of suck at doing voiceover, so yeah, please forgive me. I am going as I watch my video. More blending. And we are putting on just outlines for the hair, just wavy lines, just to be a little bit more extra, and yeah, the lighting is bad. Outlining the hair, again, I'm using liquid eyeliner for this. I will list down the products I used in the description box later. So there, I'm just adding some definition to the hairline just to give the illusion that it is not um, on my forehead per se. Okay, now to the rose tattoo. I'm just outlining it and then I'm using a red liquid lipstick for this. Then outlining the details with a black eyeshadow, highlighting it with the same clown white paint, blending it out, blending it out, and then I'm going in with the liquid eyeliner, okay, now for the leaves, using white paint first, just for the base, and then we are going in with the green eyeshadow from the sleek palette. Drawing the details with black eyeshadow. Now the eyeliner again. And then I smudge it out again just because. I mean, it's for depth. Then we're going back in with black eyeshadow and the eyeliner. See, it looks better that way. <laughs> and then we highlight the leaves. And of course, blend it out. Now I draw on the under your curse part. Mind you, I did this like three times. Okay. Use the pencil for that. There. Okay. 
defining it with black eyeshadow. Then I'm going in with some blue eyeshadow on the outer parts of the flag or the banner rather and then some purple in the middle just for the extra design. Darkening the black with eyeliner again and adding more detail to the font. We're almost done, guys. Okay. So that is it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this to your friends, and comment down below what else you would like to see from me. Also, what do you think of this video? Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!